Nigel Farage. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. What we have before us here is the new government of Europe, a government that, with the Lisbon Treaty, now has enormous powers, not just a foreign minister and embassies, not just the ability to sign treaties, but the ability now to use emergency powers to literally take countries over. And yet what we've heard from the European Parliament big group leaders this morning is the demand that you take even more powers and do it even more quickly. And perhaps it's worth reminding ourselves that this treaty that gives this Commission these powers does not have democratic legitimacy in the European Union at all. You ignored referendums, you denied referendums, and you bullied the poor Irish into voting for a second time. Now I'm struck that the common denominator with this Commission is the sheer number of them that were communists or were very close to communism. Mr Barroso himself was a Maoist. Sim, Sim Callas, far from being a student activist, was even a member of the Supreme Soviet. So a top-notch communist we have there. Baroness Ashton ran CND and still refuses to tell us whether she took money from the Communist Party of Great Britain. Now I could go on, but we'd be here for some time. But we have at least ten communists in this commission and it must feel like a return to the good old days. There must be a certain nostalgia amongst the communists. Whilst 60 years ago an iron curtain fell across Europe, today we have the iron fist of the European Commission and we've seen it with Article 121 and with Greece effectively being turned into a protectorate. Poor Greece, trapped inside the economic prison of the Euro. Poor Greece, trapped inside the modern-day Volkerkerker, for which it appears there is no way out. What Greece needs, Mr Barroso, is devaluation, not sadomonetarism. Goodness knows what that's going to do to them. In 1968, we had the Brezhnev Doctrine of Limited Sovereignty. Today, we have shared values. We have ever closer European Union and pooled sovereignty, and that is what you've used. But, of course, it won't just be Greece. Because the same is going to happen to Spain, to Portugal and to Ireland. One, two, one will be invoked with all of those. Mr Broso, you said earlier we will stick to our course and that means millions of people in Europe will be put through pain as you attempt to keep together this disastrous project that is the Euro. It will fall to pieces. Of that there can be no doubt. As surely as it did for Britain during the exchange rate mechanism in 1992. You can laugh, you can smile, it won't work, it can't work, it will fall to pieces and as far as the peoples of Europe are concerned, the sooner it does, the better. We need democratic solutions to this. If you go on pushing your extreme Euro-nationalism, this will lead to violence. We must vote against this Commission. We must put the future of Europe to people in every member state in free and fair referendums. Thank you.